Hello students. Today I am going to teach the topic networking connectivity in the cloud computing. So let's proceed with the topic networking connectivity in the cloud computing. <music> Cloud computing is a technique of resource sharing where servers, storage, and other computing infrastructure in multiple locations are connected by networks. In the cloud, when an application is submitted for its execution, needy and suitable resources are located from this collection resources as these resources are connected via internet the user get their required results for many cloud computing applications network performance will be the key issue to cloud computing performance since cloud computing has various deployment options we now consider the important aspects related to the cloud deployment models and their accessibility from the viewpoint of network connectivity. As we have studied previously cloud architecture and structure of the cloud, in this point of view, network connectivity is an important factor in this cloud computing. That is going to consider with a various viewpoint. Viewpoints are public cloud access networking, private cloud access networking, intra cloud networking for public services, then private intra cloud networking. Also, the new facets in the private network with this path for internet traffic. So, let's proceed with every viewpoint in the networking connectivity in cloud computing. The first viewpoint is public cloud access networking. Now, in this option, the connectivity is often through the internet. Through some cloud providers may be able to support virtual private networks. That is called as a VPNs for customers. Nowadays, every cloud so provider or cloud service providers are providing their important services in terms of VPN. Everywhere, if you go with Amazon cloud service provider or Microsoft or Google, everywhere this as a service is present as a core part of that cloud service provider as a virtual private network. Accessing public cloud services will always create issues related to security, which in turn is related to performance. One of the possible approaches towards the support of security is to promote connectivity through encrypted tunnels so that the information may be sent via secure pipes on the internet. This procedure will be an overhead in connectivity and using it will be certainly increase delay and may impact on a performance. If we want to reduce the delay without compromising security, then we have to select a suitable routing method such as the one reducing the delay by minimizing transist hopes in the end to end connectivity between the cloud provider and cloud consumer. Since the end to end connectivity support is via the internet, which is complex federation of interconnected providers basically they known as internet service provider that is isps 
one has to look at the options of selecting the pass so this is one of the viewpoint in terms of public cloud access networking as networking connectivity in the cloud computing where it is going to support to the virtual private network that is a vpn and vpn is now become the core services of every cloud service providers with this we have another viewpoint let's look on that that is private cloud access network in the private cloud deployment model since the cloud is a part of organization network the technology and approaches are local to in house network structure or network anatomy this may include an internet vpn or vpn service from a network operator if the application access was properly done with an organizational network connectivity in a pre cloud configuration transition to private cloud computing will not affect the access performance that is a one of the view point in terms of the networking connectivity in a cloud computing as a private cloud access network now we have another view point that is a private intra cloud before knowing the private intra cloud networking firstly we know what is intra cloud networking for public cloud services so another networking connectivity consideration in cloud computing is intra cloud networking for public cloud services so the resources of the cloud provider and thus the cloud service to the customer are based on the resources that are geographically apart from each other but still connected via internet public cloud computing networks are internal to the service provider and thus not visible to the user or a customer however the security aspects of connectivity and the access mechanism of the resources are important another issue to look for is the quality of a service that is a qos in the connected resources worldwide most of the performance issues and violations from these are addressed in the service level agreements commercially so that is a intra cloud networking where it is a one of the type of connectivity in the cloud for the public cloud services now let's see about the how this is an view point in the networking connectivity in cloud computing the most complicated issue for networking and connectivity in cloud computing is private intra cloud networking what makes this particular issue so complex is that it depends on how much intra cloud connectivity is associated with the applications being executed in this environment private intra cloud networking is usually supported over connectivity between the major data center sites owned by the company at the minimum all cloud computing implementation will rely on intra cloud networking to link users with the resource to which their application was assigned once a resource link is made or resource linkage is made the extent to which intra cloud networking is used depend on whether the application is computerized or on service oriented architecture that is a soa or not among multiple systems if the principle of service oriented architecture that is a soa is followed then traffic may move between components of the application as as well as between the application and the end user 
the performance of those connections will then impact cloud computing performance overall so the impact of cloud computing performance is the differences that exist between the current application and the network relationship with the application there are reason to consider the networks and connectivity in cloud computing with newer approaches as a globalization and changing network requirements especially those related to increased internet usage are demanding more flexibility in the network architecture of today's enterprises or in the organization now how are these related to us that's why these are the view points which we have discussing in terms of the network connectivity in cloud computing as a public cloud accessing network then private cloud networking then intra cloud networking and private intra cloud networking aspects now in this scenario there are new facets in the private networks so let's talk about that facets say conventional private network have been architected for on premises applications and maximum internet security typically application such as email file sharing and enterprise resource planning that is a erp systems are delivered to on premise based service or on premise based servers at each corporate data center increasingly today software vendors are offering software as a service that is a saas as an alternative for their software support to the corporate offices which brings more challenges in the access and usage mechanism of software from data center servers and in the connectivity of network architectures the traditional network architecture for these global enterprises was not designed to optimize performance for cloud applications now that many applications including mission critical applications are transitioning that is moving on premise based to a cloud based wherein the network availability becomes an mission critical as a electricity the business cannot function if it cannot access applications such as a erp and email or scm that is a supply chain management as well as enterprise resource planning these are the facets like and the facets in terms of the path for internet traffic let's have discussion about this one the traditional internet traffic through a limited set of internet gateways poses performance and availability issues for end users who are using cloud based applications it cannot be improved if a more widely distributed internet gateway infrastructure and connectivity are being supported for accessing the application as they will provide lower latency access to their cloud applications as the volume of traffic to cloud applications grows the percentage of legacy network capacity in terms of traffic to regional gateway increases now applications such as a video conferencing could hog more bandwidth while mission critical application such as a erp that is enterprise resource planning will consume less bandwidth and hence one has to plan a correct connectivity and path between the providers and consumers so this is a one of the facets one of the view point in terms of the network connectivity in the cloud computing as we studied this different 
passes from the public cloud access networking then private cloud access networking then private intra cloud networking then facets in terms of paths for internet traffic and how the conventional private network have been architected for on premises application and maximum internet security so this is all about the networking connectivity in the cloud computing thank you